See, I could ring him, can I? Try and make amends. It's tough. I, I've been there. Losing your job's tough. But would I want him to ring me? That's the question. If I'd lost my job, you know, he'd been appointed, would I be happy about it? No, I wouldn't. Thinking about it more, I wouldn't be. I'll give him a ring. <sighs> this can only go well. Sorry. Hello, Wayne Rooney. Are you all right, mate? After everything? Yeah, I'm good. You say good. I'm pretty sure that was you, wasn't it? Outside the training ground, crying, kicking the sign. I couldn't say. Uh, you kind of have said there. Yeah, security weren't happy. So, but you're talking to me now. So, you know. Um, it's a bit, a bit intimidating. Um, well, yeah, of course. You know, it's me. Dr. Benji FM. Of course, it's intimidating. But um, obviously, you you worked here. So, what's the feeling amongst the people, you know, about me taking over? It's disappointing um, for myself, for the players, for the staff, for the fans. Oh, I see. Oh, what, what have you been doing, Wayne? You know, keeping yourself busy, have you? I was watching, I watched Sister Act. Yeah, interesting. Well, are you watching films exclusively where the main character wears black and white for a reason, or...? You've really got to let this go, Wayne. I, I told you this. Did you and um, did you and Colleen get round to watching Groundhog Day? Um, it's the longest day ever. That's sort of the well, yeah. That's that's sort of the point, Wayne. If I'm honest. We know that we're not stupid. No, no, no. I'm not saying you're stupid. No, no. I'm not implying that. No. But anyway, look. Big day today. Big day. Starting my new job at Derby. You know, I'm looking forward to a new beginning. You looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Jesus. Yes. I, well, sounds like it. Yeah. You must have been worried about me taking over for a while when I think about it, though. The, it, that was in the back of my head, yeah. Um, yeah, well, you know, that's most managers, mate, in it, you know. But, well, cheers. Look, I guess I'm in charge now. You're not in charge now. That's just... Whatever is going to happen, is, it's going to happen. Sounds a bit ominous, that, Wayne, if you don't mind me. Cheers, Ben. Says, oh, well, bye then, Wayne. Yeah, OK. Cheers. Cheers, Wayne Rooney. He seems fine with it. So... Let's get on with it. Hello there, folks. Welcome back to a new series. It's Dr. Benji FM taking on Derby County. Although, of course, we'll do our best. Synergy. That's the key here. Now, let's take a look at Derby and assess the situation. It's quite the situation. Let's, just, let, let's have a look at this. So for those that are unaware, when there is red text at the bottom of a league table screen, someone, someone's in trouble. And this then is the problem in the situation that exists for Derby County in real life right now. And of course, they're quite a way through that season. But we in the virtual world are going to try and do the job that Wayne Rooney is trying to do. Now that we've spoke to Wayne, we've got some feedback from Wayne in a way. And you can see there then 21 points. Reading as well, by the way, six points knocked off their overall tally. But 21, because Derby, of course, entered administration. So many financial issues at that club. And that means that the team and the squad have their own issues. The finances then, as, as you can imagine, three million pounds in debt. We're currently not really in control of what happens. There's no money to spend. The, 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 there is no money to spend. You can see there, transfer budget, zero. Wage budget, zero. Doesn't mean I won't try and bring in a free transfer with... I don't, I don't know what, with no money, I don't know how we're going to do that. And of course, we're hopeful of a takeover, but a takeover isn't going to give us those points back, is it? So the 21 points that we're going to we're going to have to wrestle back to so just get to zero, just to get to the, the spot that all of these teams are in, that is a seven wins, really. Seven wins more than anybody else to make sure that we stay afloat. So it's like we've got seven less games in this league season. That's sort of how I'm approaching it to begin with. You'll also notice from the physioroom.com table, that the, the team with the most amount of injuries to kick off this season, and some of them aren't short term, is Derby County. Now, we're in July. Of course, the league season doesn't start until the 7th. That's only, that's not that long. And while the friendlies are going to be played out, of course, and I'm not going to be too bothered about them, the league action, and tomorrow we'll kick things off against Huddersfield and see what we do on the opening day. But the, the team, I've had a look through. There's, a, there's, there's, well, uh, there's, it's a problem, viewers. There's a lot going on, and by a lot, I mean there's not a lot going on. It's a real issue. Uh, <laughs> it's not good at all. The squad isn't very big, is the first thing to note. And then you then you see the five players that are the very small, the six players, I guess, if you include Louis Watson, uh, and maybe if you use uh, Cashin as well, right? These 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 guys here 
they're quite pivotal to the squad that's the bench right there because as things stand right now if we played out all the players that weren't injured we would have two substitutes one of which is a goalkeeper the other sort of a right-sided player in festi a and that's that's our best bet now the team's not that bad like in terms of the quality of the players that are actually available once um Bailik, i think that's how you say it once he comes back we should be okay right that because he's he's very very good not the quickest but in this division you don't need to be rapid to stop the strikers here but he's out for five to six months so forget it he's the best one he's the best player and he's out so then you're looking at the ability of the other players right you're looking at craig forsyth you're looking at jason knight max bird tom lawrence who feels like he's been at derby forever i think he did he, did he sort of yeah, a while ago now five million pounds has been here he's a stalwart of this side when you compare it to some of the rest of them i'm hopeful that with a little bit of quality that we've got in this squad we'll be okay like max bird decent player again doesn't run very fast and new car newcastle are in interested well that'll save any club yes newcastle 40 million pounds let's get it done make the offer newcastle should we offer him out to newcastle so financially of course there are still there are still major issues and any sales would be great although we're not expect expecting it to happen straight away and when you're in administration of course you're under a transfer embargo uh, and the owner is looking to stabilize the club's finances no yeah no shit like obviously now in terms of the lack of bench that we've got right now you're probably thinking well what's the youth like is there any players there that can help wrestle us out of this situation yes there is there are these four boys here who are okay but let's face it okay he's good he's out for even those are injured cornell mcdonald's gone as well for three to five weeks he misses, he misses any start to the season bobby duncan he's got a knock everyone's injured a sassy there he's not injured he's also not that good if i'm being if i'm being horrible and there's malcolm fully fit so we'll take that but not ideal again like these these boys here are probably gonna have to be called up you look through the under 23 squad it's not it's not filled with talent is it some of the some of the potential here at derby though is quite exciting you never know they might end up being quite good players and then if you go into the under 18s again similar situation but not much happening there really not a similar situation at all just very different poor actually so of course once we're out of administration once there is new ownership and I, don't, I don't know when that happens now i've done very i've done very well actually there's other guys that have done derby saves on youtube there's other people that have done derby saves in general i don't know when it gets better and of course we're playing on the most recent update for football manager 2022 so uh, who knows when it's going to change and be better but it's sort of it doesn't matter because the 21 points isn't going to change the current squad isn't going to change the takeover the takeover would have to happen now basically um and we've got these pre-season games to play where we sort of have to play the boys that are here hopefully they improve now of course we're taking over wayne rooney's derby county and, and rooney's actually got quite a lot of plaudits for doing a pretty good job with a very difficult situation that's why i've been called in because when there's a real problem you want to exacerbate that issue and make it work no no sorry no you don't you don't you don't want to do that with that in mind i'm not sure i should necessarily be here but my job then is to get derby back to the dizzy heights of the relegation fight in the premier league that's where i want to be of course getting out of the championship is part of the goal in this save and getting to the premier league now let's not call it a you know glory hunting mission for lots of reasons but i do want to bring an air of dominance to derby imagine taking them from the, the depths of the championship they're basically in league one at this point so eventually achieving great things with a derby side that i believe can do more now the stadium as it is right now pride park thirty-three and a half thousand, is almost premier league standard it was built for a premier league side so that gives me a little bit of hope again the estimated value of the, t the, the club someone someone come and buy it by accident if you want all those billionaires in for chelsea at the moment just buy derby stadium's nice i should really get a picture for the stadium we'll sort that out but you can see the history of derby then they're in the premier league in 2000 and uh, 2008 so 2007 8 didn't go great for them they had a similar situation in 2002 where it didn't go great for them but my job isn't just to put them in there and you can see like the downward trajectory of derby that's quite worrying and then you bring me in at that point that's the for those that have watched long term oh dear but system wise then we've got some quite slow but quite good technical players like liam thompson decent on the ball some nice mental attributes as well uh max bird as mentioned before again good work rate decent technical i say decent 12 in the championship is decent technical ability viewers in case you're not sure uh, and then tom lawrence ahead of them could be like the man to link it all together now interestingly i see the system that i'm playing at the moment or it's been sort of decided for me in a basic control possession style this is not what we'll end up with i can't imagine but this is what we're sort of starting with and team wise 
Again, it's not that bad. Ryan all stopping goal. Decent goalkeeper. 29, a like good age for, for a goalkeeper. Nathan Burnett, right back. Decent, pacey, good good, good ability going forward. And for Scythe on the other side, similar situation again. Not, not as pacey, but some nice mentals, some nice technicals. Probably be quite a good central midfielder, but can't play there at all. At centre-back, again, another... I feel like, again, he's been at Derby. It feels like forever, but it's just not the case. The last five years, apparently, is forever, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Curtis Davis partners Richard Stearman, who previously of Wolves years ago, yeah, I remember, has joined on a free transfer. A lot of reliance on him. I mean, the, the defence isn't quick, the more I look at this. So even my my best defender who's injured for six months, he's slow. Everyone's slow. Um, whether we play a deeper line as a result... Stay tuned. And we mentioned Thompson and Bird in the centre then. They're pretty good. Tom Lawrence is pretty good as well. Sibley on the right-hand side. He looks he looks quite good as well. Again, can play centrally, can play out wide. There's not a lot of options for us in forward areas. So if they can play somewhere, that's where they go. Uh, and on the left-hand side as well, Ravel Morrison. Now this is a man. Ravel, this is Ravel Morrison. The man that was talked about as the next big hope at Manchester United when Paul Pogba was coming through the ranks. Ravel Morrison was talked about in exactly the same way. His career hasn't got... It looks like he's wearing a Brazil kit there. I assume it's the kit of Den Haag. But he's joined Derby as well then. And you can see it's a career that has been all over the place. And maybe I'm the man to get Ravel firing. Now, again, there's some issues with him. Doesn't work very hard. Doesn't jump very high. Um, but, again, there's some technical ability there that we can play with. Some okay agility. A lot of flair, of course. And then in the forward the forward positions, we've got Luke Plange. Or Plange. Or how do you how, now how do you say that? Plange feels feels right I, I, <laughs> it almost certainly isn't plunge either way on loan from crystal palace and I, I, I am i allowed to do, am i allowed to do loans actually that's a point what's the rule with loans can i get loans in aaron lennon on loan make an offer oh no uh derby are not allowed to sign players well there's proof derby are not allowed to sign players until the embargo placed by the pfa is lifted this can be achieved by repaying the, them the money borrowed right well how much have we borrowed Debts and loans, state loans, 26, sorry, 26 million on a state loan. Uh, and then we've got some, min was, uh, pardon? So there's a debt of 47, I'm supposed to pay off that, am I? Who, are, who is this administrator? Where, 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 where can we talk to him then? Or her, or them, who are they? Morale's poor. That's the reaction to my, my being here, I'd imagine. But look, if there's one thing that can be said, I love a challenge here. And I think Derby offers me the perfect challenge. We, again, we'll, we'll see how we get on. We've got Huddersfield to play. Uh, in terms of the season preview then, that's ominous. Uh, we are down the bottom there. And none of these players, there they all play for Fulham. Similar colour kit though. So I was hopeful. That. I thought, oh, blimey, we are in, we are in luck. No, I suspect, I think Bournemouth and Fulham, again, much like in real life, will sort of run away with this. And... And we'll just sort of be there. And by there, I mean bottom five. So the first job, get to zero points, right? That's got to be job number one. Job number two, get rid of the debt. And if we have to sell Max Bird for 40 million, well, Max Bird's head be it. That was tougher to say than first imagined. Uh, so there we are then. The, the, the biggest worry of the whole series really is, and I know you're thinking this, how many coloured shirts do you have in the colours of Derby? This, this is the only one. So I don't know... I, I potentially need to order seven of them. I've done a few of the meetings at the start of the season. I've basically gone, don't worry, everything will be fine. Uh, the board want me to fight bravely against relegation. Who is the board? Hang on a minute. Who's in, who's, who is in charge here exactly? Nick Pond. Right then, Nick. Hello. Oh, we can find nothing about Nick. Ah, oh, I see. So everything rests on Nick Pond. I answer to Nick. And Nick's gone. Here he is. Nick Pond, administrator. There he is. I can't see his profile. That's his face there, though, for those that are curious. They want me to develop players using the club's youth system. Quite easy under transfer embargo. Work within a wage budget. The word budget should should be taken away, really. And then fight bravely against relegation. Get to the FA Cup fourth round minimum. As if as if that's going to be a doddle. I know we get into the third round automatically, but to win that first game seems difficult. And in the Carabao Cup, be competitive, which is pretty vague if I'm honest. All right, so straight away, I mean, I've cl I've clicked continue once there. I've got I've got about twenty I've got about twenty seconds into the future, and already Jason Knight's fuming. Tom Lawrence has come to me. I assume Tom Lawrence is club captain. Tom, club captain Tom. Yeah, club captain Tom's come. He's Tom's guy. I just wanted to let you know that Jason Knight doesn't see himself at the moment. Oh, it must be a personal issue then. There's something getting him down. And I think it might be to do with a cross financial issue. Talk to Nick Pond, mate. I don't think Jason is expecting anything from you at the moment, but it might be worth having a word for him. What does he want me to do? Discuss issue with, with Knight. All right, yeah, I will do. Hello, Jason. Uh, hey, hey, what's up? As if it's my problem. As if you... You spoke... You know what's happened. You spoke to Tom. I've been told that you have something on your mind at the minute and wanted to check in and make sure there's anything I can do to help with the issue. The club's financial situation was getting me down, but I know you're all too, all too aware. 
So I'll just get on with things. I'm not sure it needed a meeting, Jason, but it was heartened. So, I mean, that's good. Well, his morale has gone from very poor to poor, I think. Well, it's going well. Right, there's a meeting here, weekly staff meeting. Liam Rossini, who I thought was still a right back, honestly. He retired three years ago. He could play. Uh, he's come to me. He's gone, boss. We've, got a, few, we've got, a, got a few things to deal with here. Right then, Liam, let me have a look through this. Curtis Davis would be a suitable captain. I will make... Okay, look. Do you know what, Liam? I trust you. Max Bird would be better if we start some training for him. Um, if we attempt to change the pace of an attack as his reading of the game is excellent. Excellent work. You must, must read Match Magazine. And Sibley as well uh, is to start rounding the goalkeeper. I mean, I'll do the training. I'm not sure how useful that's going to be. I suggest... Suge uh, I suggest assigning Pat Lyons uh, to handle tactical attacking coaching. Okay, yeah, good. And Festi Eversoli should be... What should he, what should he be doing there? Sorry. Should be developing his weaker foot, by all means. Yeah. The transfer policies. I think you should look towards the youth system for players. Oh, well, clearly someone is. We're talking to Nick Pond, haven't they? Move on. We'll move on. High potential players. We've got this guy here, uh, Lee uh, Buchanan. He's, well, he's out for two to four weeks. Standard back. He's brilliant, actually. Left back. So he's injured at the moment is uh, is Lee. But Lee is the start. Well, he's the starting left back. I've got bad news for Craig Forsyth. He should be a central midfielder. Although Craig, actually, six foot two. Craig could be very much be the centre back here. Right, well, hang on. We might hang on, we might not be as bad as I thought. Again, a couple of weeks before the start of the season, likely a lot. Lee looks good. Oh, blimey. Look, Liam's got a bit of a complex here. I might be ridiculed for saying this, but Max Bird, look, ridic no one's going to ridicule you, Liam. No one's going to no one's going to say a peep, mate. And then I don't think it's unreasonable. Oh, the first thing I want to fix is Liam Rossini's confidence. But yeah, he's he's very like, he's happy. I'll put it that way. He's, he's happy with the way things are going at the moment. I'll end the meeting. Uh, and again, so far, so good. So any time, look, I'm, I'm continuing really in the hope that the, another injury. Oh, well, these are, these are these are piling up. Admittedly, it's for a couple of days, but if that starts to get worse, we've got problems. So we're not going to play this Plymouth Argyle friendly because it's football manager and it's it's April. We're not doing, we're not doing friendlies. Um, but at the same time, of course, I want players to stay fit. That's the, the bill and end all. Aha, the code of conduct. Adam's here, the player liaison officer. Adam, good to meet you. How, how are we doing? Do you know what, Adam? You've got this under control, I can tell. So Liam has liaised, and I'm just gonna I'm going with I'm going with what he says. Here's Liam. The dressing room atmosphere. The players are quite unhappy and they're not enjoying their football, which could lead to discontent and dissatisfaction spreading throughout the squad. Oh well I'll, I'll, I'll introduce myself then, because that'll what could possibly go wrong. Hi guys. Dr. Benji FM here. Good to see you all. Delighted, look. Look at them. Ag agreeable? I mean they agree it's me. They're certain it's me. Richard, Richard Stearman has gone. Looks like him, doesn't it? Bit annoyed about the Glory Hunter series, but it does appear to be him. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, mate. Good to see you. I'll be making improvements in goal. What, by playing there? I mean, no. I mean, no. I don't want to make any promises, boys. I want to make no promises at all. Sorry, sorry, lads. I was expecting more from you in terms of promises, but it's time for a break right now. Where's... Ra this is Ravel's problem. Ravel's pissing off. Ravel, so Stay, sit down and stay focused. This is why it didn't work out at Manchester United. This is a joke. I strongly believe there's enough ability in this squad for us to avoid being drawn into a relegation battle. Well, the points issue though. I mean, think about the points issue. Look, it's going to be tough. Work hard. Look at that. Suddenly, Curtis Davis. Now that's, lads, come on. That's a target we can get behind. Not being relegated. Right, well, I'm positive about that. Well done, well done lads. Um, give us the, give the FA Cup everything we've got, you know. Again, Curtis Davis is happy. The rest of them, mute. Um, again, positive. Code of conduct. I've just been speaking to Liam. He says, or oh, not Liam, or oh, Adam. Was it Adam? Got a lot of new faces, a lot of new names. Tricky, isn't it? Again, positive though. And, uh, and everyone's happy. And I've got, look at the morale. It's, it's, look at that. Liam's not loving it though, is he? Uh, Liam, Liam, Liam. Oh, I'm getting blood out of a stone. Liam, perk up, mate. We'll leave it then. Right, back to business. Well, morale there has gone through the roof, viewers. You can see the injury situation. Not great. We're going to be missing quite a few of them for quite a while. Colin Kazim Richards, who I thought I, I thought was about 45 at this point because he was around a while ago. How old is he at this stage? He's 34. Okay, fair enough. I remember, I remember him well from the Sheffield United era. Um, was it Sheffield United? Yeah, that one season in the Premier League in 2006-07. Well, that's... I've, yeah, I mean, it surprised me if I'm honest. God, that was that was so like I was I was like that was a long time ago. That's all I'm gonna say. Now time to meet the media. Everyone's turned up. Look, bloody! I mean, how many people are here? Goodness me! I'm gonna smile warmly to every question. Welcome, first of all, Ben. How do you feel to sit here as new derby manager?
Oh, we should talk. Uh, yeah, I'm happy, mate. Yeah, very excited. Great club, isn't it? So, yeah, very happy. And then there's a lot of questions about if I'm happy to be here. I'm very happy to be here. Oh, it is a good question. But D Dean Lewis from 442's popped up, viewers. Derby aren't the richest of clubs. I'll tell you what. Dean's with the paper, any? And this is seen by some as a serious stumbling block. Do you think they'll be held back by the financial situation at the club? What well, the administration that we're in? Do you think that'll be a pro do I hmm, do I think that do I think the biggest financial restriction on football clubs can be it will be a problem? Do you know what, Dean? I think yeah, I do think it'll be an issue, mate. To meet my ambitions, the club has to raise some funds. We're we doing a bake sale. I mean, yeah, this is ridiculous. Sounds negative, but come on. What was it about the job in particular that appealed to you? Oh, blimey, that's that's a difficult... I don't know, really. Crikey. So the questions are getting more difficult. It's a terrific opportunity I'm more than happy to take. Vague. Oh, I'm forgetting to smile warmly. I'm doing no gestures. I'm just sort of like that. Yeah, it's great to be here, thanks. Should be doing it in sign language. That'd be, that, then, we'll, then we'll just gesture heavy. I don't know, thank you. Like, that's, all, that's all I got. I'll try and work on those as we go forward. I've just done two questions there without thinking. All right, look. The, 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 we've all done press conferences before. They're, they're a pain in the ass, frankly. People going, so do you want to win this weekend? And you go in, yeah. Right, we've got a scouting package. I don't know who's paying for that, by the way. Joe McLaren. What would worry me is that he's just related to Steve. Steve's his dad. Oh, bloody hell. Jobs for the boys. It's Steve McLaren's son. Is is chief scout. Well, if I need a brolly, I know where to go, don't I? Goodness me. Or, or a weird Dutch accent. Anyway, there we go, viewers. Right, that's that sort of kicked us off at the start of the uh, start of the season. Then, of course, I'll update you on whether we'll get a, a massive takeover offer from somewhere um but the points deduction is the problem hopefully this was the perfect introduction oh would well, you look at this viewers i'll tell you what thank god troubled sky bet championship side derby county and their supporters they're hoping for a change of fortunes as the club's administrators begin actively seeking for a new buyer well thank heavens could take ages though could take forever. <laughs> the press office come to, has, has come to me. How about, what was his name? How about Pondy turns up? Where's Nick in all this? That's like, where's Nick? Anyway, that's going to conclude, viewers. Hope you enjoyed episode one. I'll see you tomorrow for some more of this. I'd get, it'd be a transfer special, but, you know, read the room. There we are, viewers. If you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like on it. Well, let's go, let's go big. Let's go for a few thousand. I'll let you set the target. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for some more. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you're looking forward to something new. Me too. Take care. Goodbye.